Do you plan on visiting Ireland, Dublin in the future? Here's a list of top fun things to do in Ireland, Dublin included. We'll give you 10 Dublin Ireland must see or do plus one extra bonus at the end of this video. This is based on the things we did and loved while we were there. Number one, have a beef and Guinness stew at Brazen Head. The Brazen Head is touted as Ireland's oldest pub and definitely a place where you'll want to go. It sure is crowded, loud and busy at times, but you should be able to find a place relatively quickly. The place is huge with lots of seatings. It's well worth a visit to experience the pub, the atmosphere and the vibe. The price is slightly on the upside but worth it, considering the atmosphere and also the big portion of food. The decor brings you back in time with the stone bricks, furniture and the arching entrance. Number 2. Horse Carts Horse carts have been a popular transportation means in Ireland in the past. If you have the opportunity to jump on one around the city, it would be cool to experience this old mode of transportation in today's advanced world. It will definitely bring out the inner child in you. We loved hearing the sound of the horse's hooves on the ground. Once again, it brings you back in time. Number 3. Stephen's Green Park if you like parks, head over to Stephen's Green Park to have a morning jog or evening stroll. It's a rather big park and I'm sure families will enjoy spending some time there. Children can play with the ducks and you can enjoy some rest time in the huge compound. Even though it's a city, Dublin has a lot of green pockets around. Number 4. Book of Kells One famous tourist stop is the Book of Kells. It is a grand library with many gospel illustrations dating from 800 AD. It is found at the Trinity College in Dublin. The library is simply stunning with all the wooden structures. This is a famous picture of the library. You will feel so small in that library with the works of the greatest minds of the past. Bonus tip, make sure to get your tickets online to skip the queue. While you're at the Trinity College, make sure to check the Sphere Within Sphere, a famous sculpture just outside. Pop your camera because there are only a few of these around the world. Number 5. Walk around the city. Dublin isn't a cheap city, but one way in which you can reduce your expenses is by walking around in the city instead of getting a cab. The city is relatively small and walking around, you can get access to free museums, take pictures at small alleys, discover the many pubs around and just enjoy the live music or parades. This is one of the cheapest best things to do in Dublin, Ireland. I always love walking around the city. Number 6. Catch the sunset at the water canal. One thing I always love to do in any country is to catch the sunset and the best place to catch it is from the bridges of River Liffey. As we were in Ireland over the summer, the sunset was at 9pm, which was just brilliant as we could make the most of the day and end it by looking at a magnificent sunset before heading back for a good sleep. By the way, one particularly interesting thing about our island trip was that the flights and accommodations were all paid for. We only had some expenses to pay for the trip. If you want to know how we got such a great deal, I'll head over to the link in the description box. My ebook covers all the strategies that I use to get cheap deals or even free flights. Now back to our top 10 things to do in Dublin list. Number 7. Guinness Storehouse One thing you gotta know about Ireland is that it is home to the world famous Guinness beer. So visiting the Guinness Storehouse is something you cannot miss. It's where they will tell you all about the history and how this stout beer is made. Entrance fee is around 20 euros for adults and you will get free sample tastings and a complimentary pint of Guinness. Don't miss the pouring experience. You will even get a certificate after doing that. Ultimately, you will end the self-guided tour at a rooftop where you will witness an amazing view of Dublin city. If you're a beer lover, this is one Dublin island must do.
Point number seven officially ends the list of Dublin things to do because if you're staying in Dublin, there's only so much you can do. But if you want to make the most of Ireland, you've got to rent a car. And that is point number eight. Rent a car and explore this gigantic and beautiful mass of land. We got our car from Avis Rental and we actually rented the cheapest car, but we were surprised they upgraded our car due to unavailability issues at no additional cost. Well, these are the perks of booking the cheapest things on the board. So we paid less for more. And whoever says road trip, gotta stay snacks. Make sure to get your sash and off you go. Oodles of noodles, Doritos, tangy cheese, and we've got the mild salsa, Kinder, Bruno? Pingui, Maltesers, teasers. Okay, now oh my what? gosh, it's so good. Straight. It's like a sort of cream. Straight, yeah, 2.5 kilometers go straight. Number nine. While you are on a road trip, one must visit place is the Cliffs of Moher. It's an impressive place with massive tall cliffs together with amazing ocean views. There's one hiking trail along the cliff but that's all up to you. Anyway, the views from anywhere along the cliff is just breathtaking. It's a 3 hour drive from Dublin but it's all worth it. Pictures and videos don't do justice to the place and you will definitely feel so small in this huge world there. Just don't forget your jacket as it could get cold and windy there. Entrance fee is applicable. Number 10, Dingle Peninsula. We did Dingle Peninsula and the views were incredible. It's a four hour drive from Dublin and it was the highlight of our island trip. The road leading to Dingle itself can be very narrow at times but very scenic with sheep grazing on the left hand side and ocean views on your right. We highly recommend going there and spend a few days at least if possible. Unfortunately we spent only one night there and that didn't give us enough time to soak in this wonderful place. Some even call it heaven on earth. This is one absolute must of the Dublin Island things to do. Highly, highly recommended. <laughs> Number 11, stay at the BNB in Dingle. If you're looking for a place to stay in Dingle, we highly recommend this BNB, which is slightly up on the hill, but the hosts were very nice and the views from the dining area and rooms are just out of this world. <laughs> they have a glass enclosure all around the dining area and you can see mountains and the place is well lit with natural light. Definitely having a section of my house like this in the future. If you want to book this place, I've included the link in the description box. Hope you've enjoyed our list of must-do things in Dublin, Ireland. And if you have other fun things to do in Ireland, make sure to comment down below and we will try to include those in our Dublin, Ireland travel guide the next time we are there. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe with the notification bell click for our latest video. Cheers and goodbye.